Well, good morning, Trinity. Happy Monday. And it's another day. It's another week where we are ready to learn together. Even though we're apart, we're doing this together. And as we always do, we're going to start our week with our catechism question. And uh, we'll be still talking about prayer. And we're moving on to question 40. Now, parents, uh, what I'm going to be using is the New City Catechism app. If you want to follow along, uh, that's something that I am using right now that you can also use. But question 40, we say this. What should we pray? The whole Word of God directs us in what we should pray. And when we wonder what we should be praying about, this is an appropriate answer. Why? Because when we talk about what we should pray, and when we want to look at God's Word for what we should pray, really what we're saying is this. We're saying, Lord, we want our purposes, we want our desires, we want our wills to be what yours is. We want to know what your Word says, and we want to be directed as such because we want the things that you want. So this is what we're reminded of this week when we ask this question, when we give the answer. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to ask the question, give the answer, and then I will ask again. I'm going to let you guys respond on your own. Okay, are you ready? Question 40. What should we pray? The whole Word of God directs us in what we should pray. All right, are you ready? What should we pray? Good, awesome. Glad for those of you that got it. Well, in light of that, what I want to do is pray for us, and then we'll sing together. Lord, we come before you grateful and thankful for another day, another week, another opportunity for all that you give. And Lord, even as we were just thinking about, even as we've just said in our question, and even as we were just talking about, I pray that you would help us. Lord, that you would guide us and direct us to your word so that we might desire the things that you desire. That we would recognize that our hope and um, rest come from you. Not the things of this world, because as we've experienced, those are ever-changing. And and we can't count on them. But Lord, you are one that we can rest in and count on. So Lord, I pray for strength for this week. I pray for all our Trinity community, and I pray that you would help us as we learn these things and as we look back to your word. And it's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Good morning, Trinity, and welcome to the Doxology at Home edition. Please feel free to join me as we sing our doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here. Have a great week.